Hello everybody at uh, Grand Circle and OAT. Uh, my name is Doc Henley. I'm the founder and president of, of Wine to Water. And I just wanted to take a minute. One, uh, I think literally spring just happened. Like we're finally out of winter and in spring. And uh, we're also on the verge of World Water Day, which is March 22nd. Um, so I actually wanted to take a minute and shoot this video for your community just to say thank y'all for all your love and support uh, over the last three or four years since we've been partnering uh, with Grand Circle and with OAT. I, I kind of wanted to give you a, a, a perspective, a picture of the amazing work we've been able to do together around the world. Uh, so just to give you an idea, we first began working together with our ceramic water filter factory in Tanzania. A lot of y'all may have even traveled to Tanzania, uh, gone on safari there and been able to meet some of our amazing team before or after going on safari uh, and, and, and seeing the ceramic filters that we make there. So your team has been amazing at helping get literally thousands of these water filters out to people uh, all over uh, rural regions in Tanzania to make sure uh, that they have access now to life-saving clean water. So we got Tanzania where we've literally reached tens of thousands of people thanks to your help. Also, uh, we, we have a great program going on in the Amazon jungle where you help support a community where it was like almost 9,000 people in this community now have access to clean running water uh, thanks to, to your, your amazing uh, community at Grand Circle and, uh, and OAT. We also have Cambodia. We got to partner with a lot of uh, actually staff, OAT staff, that were able to help train and teach people on how to use our water filter system that we used in that area. Um, so we got a great partnership going in Cambodia. And then now the most recent update, as many of you are aware and have been seeing on the newsletters, is we've been able to work closely uh, with y'all on uh, on responding to needs right here in our own backyard at, within Navajo Nation and, and the Hopi tribe as well. Uh, we were able to get about a thousand water filters out right in the height of the, the pandemic um, when a lot of these water deliveries that uh, one out of every three Navajo homes rely on water to be delivered to their house because they don't even have piping and running water. And a lot of these deliveries literally just stopped in the height of the pandemic because people were afraid to leave their home to deliver these waters like in these tanks in the back of trucks and so we were able to get water filters to some of the hardest hit uh, families in these areas so that they could at least even just access water in a little standing puddle or a local creek or river um, and not worry about that water being contaminated uh, so we were able to respond there in, in the Navajo Nation and Hopi tribe and as well are going to continue to build out that response to far beyond even after COVID's gone to, to really dive deep in a lot of these communities and make sure that they have these running water systems that they need so they don't have to rely on water being delivered to their home. So all that and, and celebration of spring and celebration of World Water Day, which is right now uh, getting ready to take place, I just want to say thank you for, for y'all's love and your support and for your partnership. We couldn't do this work without you. We could not have such an impact around the world, all over, whether it's East Africa, whether it's Southeast Asia, whether it's Amazon jungle, or whether it's right here in our own backyard. We couldn't do this without y'all. So thank you so much. I look forward to giving you more updates in the future. We love y'all. Have a good spring.